In the spring of 2012, Missions International of America founders Jay and Jen Nielsen placed Theogene Ismaili in charge of the organization's Haiti operations. He works all day, every day, running our operations when we're not there. Then he has to get ready for teams to come in and do that on top of his job. He manages that entire community like he was the mayor. This is Smiley's first visit to the United States. For most of us, a trip to the grocery store is unremarkable. His first trip to a supermarket left a profound impression. My year, Dr. J, I think, yeah, my year. Um, it was a big, big, big one, but I, I, I could not say nothing with Sister Jen. And I said, wow, wow. I, I didn't have any word to say. During his month-long visit, Smiley has been speaking at churches and schools about some of MIA's success stories in Haiti, like the Brad Reddick School. We have about um, 320 kids going to school for free. We give them books, MIA gives them um, uniforms and muffins every day. Some of them, they only eat only the muffins for all day long. Smiley wants people to know that the hundreds of thousands of dollars in donations to MIA over the past 10 years has made a difference in the lives of the people in Savinette, Haiti. One thing I can um, say to them, you, their donations, it's not going in a bad place. Their donations is doing the great thing and their donations save Haitian lives. Smiley returns to Haiti at the end of the month to prepare the village for MIA's next trip in late February. The Nielsens will bring a volunteer team of doctors and nurses to operate the mission's medical clinic. Hubert Wiggins, WNWO News.